Hey, Senpai Fire Killer. Okay, so for today. Okay, basically, I did this just. I did this just uh, last Saturday, but I didn't do a good job of explaining my information was kind of uh, lacking. So I've decided to redo it. I've redid my slides and now we are going to redo the fate manipulation. So, okay, so basically this is an advanced loud technique that I always use for my one down. So I'm going to teach it to you today. Okay, so what is fate manipulation? It is an advanced loud technique to extend or maintain the fate phase of an assault wave as much as possible, which is a maximum of 355 seconds or 6 minutes. So why? Why do I choose to extend fate? Okay, because in fate, non-scripted enemies stop spawning, uh, which means most of all the assault enemies will stop respawning. But you have to watch out for snipers and cloakers because uh, most of snipers and cloakers are scripted spawns. So they will just keep respawning about every half a minute. And in this phase, it allows players to do objectives with minimal resistance because they, the assault enemies don't respawn. And there are also two other, way, uh, two other phases which has less, uh, less resistance but they are pretty short. They are about... 30 seconds and the other one is just 15 seconds. So this is the longest phase that we can use. Okay, so basic assault wave mechanic. Uh, one assault wave goes this way. It starts with anticipation. It goes to build. Uh, anticipation is about 40 seconds, 30 seconds. Yep, somewhere down, around there. Uh, build is at 35 seconds but it can be shorter sometimes it might be skipped directly based on certain conditions but we don't have to worry about that sustain is the main portion of it's the main portion of the assault where enemies keep respawning like like for example in diamond heist when you play in uh, diamond heist they just keep coming in from the sailing and then from there it goes into fate this is the one that we are looking for it will last for six minutes and then the other one is regroup which lasts for only 15 seconds this is where they will i can't remember uh, they will start to um it will start to finish this is where the ai will say they are retreating and you will last for at most 15 seconds before it goes into anticipation again so simply with if you are not using any hard mods anticipation although it is counted as part of the assault wave it does not show the assault banner Whereas for the rest, uh, the Assault banner will show this four. I mean, in these four phases, you will constantly see the Assault banner. Okay, so conditions for Fate to begin. Firstly, there must be no Infinite Assault or Hunt mode because it actually locks the phase to sustain and it will never ever go to Fate. And the other condition for... Fate to happen is naturally uh, each of the phase they run out of time, sustain runs out of time, it goes into fate. So the conditions to end fate, which is fate in to go into regroup. So either 6 minutes or 355 seconds has passed or less than 7 assault plus recon not retiring. Uh, this condition is kind of... Um, this condition is a bit more complex, I will explain to you later, don't worry. And the last one is drama condition, but I am not going to cover that one. Okay, so how do you tell when fate? Uh, one way I used to do is I memorize timings. Um, it is different for, for, for each heist and even stage of the heist, which uh, in the code terms is called diff or difficulty. And uh, this difficulty is not the number of skulls, but uh, is related to how intense the situation gets in the heist. And the other way is to use hard mods, which I will uh, be using one of the hard mod for demonstration purpose. Uh, so uh, I've put the link in the description. Um, thanks to one of the viewer who has given me the link. I forgot his name right now. 
but uh, on my YouTube channel, you uh, on my YouTube video or stream, you can see the link for it. And lastly, is when the assault or reinforced enemies stop respawning. That's when you can tell it's fake. Okay, so this is a div chart that I prepared for myself to use. Um, for example, this is for transport underpass for a solo player. So at one minute time in the game time, uh, it shows right at the top, it will be 50% diff. And then after one assault wave finishes, it will change to 65 and after two assault waves, it changed to 100%. So what does this number mean? This number actually affects uh, how long build, uh, how long sustain lasts for and the spawn limit. So for example, when I first start, for example, if we first start up transport highs, it will be at 50% diff. So uh, build and sustain together will last for 2 minutes 35 seconds and they will spawn a maximum of 18 uh, assault enemies and so on and so forth at 65% uh, after one assault wave and 100% after two assault wave. But if you are using a hard mod, this is all quite simple. You have a few hard mods that can do this. Um, assault states to tell the assault uh, when it is in fate and then there's a couple of mods which show the number of enemies remaining although it doesn't show which one is assault but it does show generally how many are remaining okay so how to execute fate manipulation so one is the basic condition is that you need seven alive assault or recon who is not retiring all right not retiring so normally the uh, recon retires when the assault starts they are the hostage rescue team usually so uh, they will disappear when the assault starts. So the easiest way to remember is seven alive assault not retiring. Okay, so how to do this manipulation? One, which is kiting, which I won't cover in detail. Uh, kiting can be done out of fate. Uh, it can be done during build and sustain. And the other is to reduce the enemy count on purpose to seven or slightly more. Yep, you're correct. Senpai fire killer like wolf heart. Uh, I think hawk's heart used to do that as well. Um, but I haven't used Hawk's Heart in a while, so uh, years actually. Okay, so kiting. Um, kiting is to lead enemies around. Basically, you start at point A, and when the enemies start to move towards you at point A, you just run away to point B very far away. Um, so they take a very long time to catch up to you, and with that time, you do objectives. Um, but kiting is very dependent on map layout and usually works better on large maps. And one other condition that is that you need all players to stick together because you can't tell which enemy is going to which player. Uh, in short, kiting is to run in circles and do objectives when the enemy is catching up. For example, like in Aftershock and Diamond. For example, like the Diamond, you just run to um, the basement. Um, you All four players run to the basement and when the enemy reaches you, you just run the other way and go to wherever you need to do your objectives. But in smaller maps, this is a problem. For example, in Reds, there isn't any... any um, you can't really kite that well in Reds. I tried that before. Okay, so reducing the enemy count, which is to dominate. So what is the best way to keep enemies alive but not attacking? Okay, so basically that is to dominate. And dominated enemies cannot fight back, but they still count as assault. And what is the limit to dominate or have a police, ho uh, police hostage is 4 plus the number of players not in custody plus converts. You must remember converts. So if you want to do fate manipulation with um, with 4 people, remember don't use any converts. Uh, maximum you can have 8 so you can still convert 1 because once you convert him, he will no longer be counted as part of the assault. Okay, so for a solo player, which I'm always, I'm always doing, I can dominate up to 5, 4, base 4 plus 1 player not in custody. Okay, so with 3 human players, it's pretty easy. You will have 4 plus 3, 4 base and 3 human players not in custody to get 7 police hostages. So you all you need to do is to make sure that these 7 hostages don't run off and then you kill off all the other enemies to manipulate fate. But remember, as again, converts are added to this limit. So if you are doing, going to manipulate fate, don't use converts. Okay, so what about one or two players? Um, for two players or less, uh, typically for me, what I do is I will dominate five and I will leave two shields alive to make up the number seven. 
Okay, so why shields? Because they cannot rescue hostages, they can't interrupt uh, objectives. They can't rescue hostages, which means they cannot free these guys that you just tied up. They can't do that. Uh, but medics and tasers can, so they are kind of irritating. So shields cannot interrupt common objectives like drills, they can't steal bags, and compared to the rest, they have pretty low damage. Okay, so now we're going to talk about 7 Assault but not retiring. So this one is a bit complicated. Um, for those who are new to, kind of new to Payday 2 or don't really, uh, haven't really read up on, on some of the mechanics, this can, can come as a bit of, yeah, this can come off as a bit complicated. But basically all enemies can either be taskless, means they, they have something to do, they are assigned something, uh, or they don't have they either they are, they are taskless or they are assigned one but you can't tell at a glance right so you can't tell what this guy is what his task is okay so th these are the few common tasks that we have assault which is seek and destroy the player this is the one that we want assault task what they will is pretty easy to actually know which one is the assault uh enemies because they will follow you everywhere they will you run into the building, they will follow into the building. And Recon is the one which they free hostages and they steal bags. This is the hostage rescue team. They only come in um, when the assault is not on. So it's very uh, quite easy to spot them. Okay, for Reinforce, I'm going to show you this uh, again later as well. Um, what they will do is they will sit somewhere and they will guard the locations. They won't move at all. And these guys, uh, typically they look the same. So... It's very easy to confuse them for one another and you might end up trying to take seven reinforce and not meet the assault and lastly we have retire at the end of the assault um the assault guys they will move to this to this spawn and their task will be retire same for the recon when the assault starts from recon they will become retire right so basically this guy assault and once you dominate, he will still have the assault task. But when the assault ends, his task becomes retire. So what you need to do is basically, if you want to manipulate fate for the next wave, you need fresh, host fresh hostages. So you need to kill off the retired ones and then you repeat the process. So you need to kill the retired hostages and dominate fresh ones. Okay, so these are a few useful stuff to have um not exactly but yeah this this affects uh domination so crew chief gives extra sh uh, shot range and hostage bonuses uh i definitely don't recommend it it's not one down friendly a lot of people don't use crew chief and for the other one skill confident basic is uh you need three points to reach this this is pretty good it gives extra 50 percent shot range especially when you're in cover trying to shout at shout at um enemies in one down uh, the other one is to have the buzzer and electric brass knuckles to stun them while you shout at them. Okay, so in so to summarize, basically at any time of the assault wave, try to dominate at least, or rather close to seven assault enemies, and then you just defend yourself. So when it is in fate, when enemies stop res uh, respawning, it's time for you to do objectives. Optionally, if you have uh, more, if you have more players, for example, you have three players. Um, to meet the seven, you can just leave one player to guard the hostages while the other two players go and perform objectives. And when the assault ends, kill off the hostages and repeat. Okay, so now we are going to the gameplay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate, uh, do a sing uh, single player demonstration. Um, I'm going to show you the task and I'm going to um, I have to use shields to extend the fate. I'm not sure I call it here tasks and shields, but okay. And for multiplayer, I will try to join a multiplayer game. I'll try to dominate eight hostages, but hopefully they don't have converts. They don't have convert uh, skills. Otherwise, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you. So let's go for the single player demonstration where I'll show you the task and I'll show you the fate, uh, the fate phase. And then later we'll do multiplayer. So. All right, so let me go into the game. Okay, so I'm using some mods. Um, I'm going to be using some mods. These are for demonstration purpose only. Uh, yep. 
Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm ready to do this. Uh, let me just... Okay, so for this, I'll be running two mods. One is... Um, assault States, to see the Assault States. Uh, yep, to show you the Assault States in... an Assault. Why did I say that? But okay. And the other is I actually modified this mod uh, called a U-Heart. I actually modded it for my own personal use to show you the task of each enemy. Okay, so let's just pick one of my... Um, let me just pick my shotgun build. Okay, this works. Uh, okay, let me just pick a saw for fun. And... Okay, that should be it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... I'm just going to do a normal bang heist, no AI. Um, to show you how I do it solo. And let's do on overkill. Okay, so... Alright, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you solo. Uh, solo, which means I will need 5 dominates plus 2 shields to keep fate going. Okay, so I'm running 2 mods here. One is the first mod, which is the Assault States mod. And second mod is um, enemy health plus uh, task. So it will show you the enemy task. Okay, let's first take a look at the civilians. Okay, looks like it doesn't work for civilians, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, we are going to try to find a guard and look at his health, look at the state he is in. Okay, so you can see that this guard right here is a recon. Uh, let me just shout at him. Okay, so you can see that this guy is actually a recon. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, we want assault. Uh, we want assault tasks. Well, my shotguns work for one down, but uh, uh, but I'm just showing you. Okay, so basically, okay. So what the mod now is showing is showing in the regroup phase. I'm not sure why it's showing that. But for example, we uh to do fate man uh, manipulation, we want seven assault. We want seven, ass uh, seven assault enemies who are not retiring. So you can see now this guy, this security guard, is um, in recon, right? So let's see what happens when the assault starts. So when the assault starts, all the recon usually will retire. Um, that's why in a normal assault phase, you should only see a lot of assault. Okay, let's see who else. Okay, the regular cops uh, have arrived. These guys usually have no task. So you can see there's no task. You're going to see police officer. Okay, so where's the other guy? Okay, so you see that the police officer has no task. It is normal for um, officers to have no task. Um, like snipers as well. Snipers have no task. So let's look at this guy. This is a recon. The medic is a recon unit as well. They will either change to assault um, or they will retire when the assault starts. Okay, so now you can see that the security guard has already been set to retire. Okay, these guys are all recon, but... Okay, these guys uh, retire, so we don't need him. Let's see if the recon will change... 
to assault. Uh, but that's not really the important part. The important part is we want five assault enemies. Uh, in the when the assault has started. So let's just wait for it to start. Okay, so this is a reinforce. This is different. Reinforced enemies are not assault. What reinforced enemies do is um, they will find a place to sit and guard. So let's leave him alone and see where he goes. Okay, that's reinforced as well. I'm looking for assault. Looks like the assault is not arriving yet. Okay, that's our first assault guy. So, but that's not really important. Uh, you don't really have to worry too much about which is assault and which is reinforced. For example, let me just uh, guard around here and most that come in will usually be assault. So let's see. Okay, now we see the anticipation phase. And it should go into the build phase and then it should go Okay, so this guy is a recurring cloaker. Now you can see his special task. Uh, every now and then he will just keep respawning. Okay, and after build, it will go into sustain. So now it's uh, build. Build will last for about 35 seconds. Okay, so at this time, let us get our, um, let us get our hostages. Okay, so now it's in sustain already. Um, it's in a pink color. You can see the assault wave bar is in pink. Okay, I need my hostages. So. Okay, I'm blinded. Okay, so I have... Um, let me see. Okay, we have our two shields. I'm going to leave the two shields alive. Because remember, I need five dominates plus two shields. Okay, so let me just leave them alive. Okay, I'm just going to stun him. Oh, there's so many shields. Ouch, I'm getting hit back. Okay, so all I need to do now is to um, wait for fate. And then I will have six minutes of fate to do my objectives so i have two shields here let me see okay that's enough come on go away okay we have a bulldozer as well Okay, while we are still in sustain, I want to show you the reinforced enemies. So, okay, look at these guys. These are reinforced. They will just um, sit out there and not do anything but shoot at you. So, these are the reinforced guys. Okay, so now we are in fate. We will have about... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so now we are in fate. We have about six minutes. So we can expect fate to end up at about 13 because now it's 7. So let me just kill off everything else that is not that is not what I want. Okay, let me kill him as well. Okay, so now I have 6 minutes of free time. I can drill, take my own sweet time to drill and there's no more enemies going to respawn. Uh, of course, you will still have um, special spawns like cloakers. You also have special spawns like snipers. Oh no, I killed an assault. Okay, there's one shoe here. Uh, 
Ah, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, where are you? Where did he go? Okay, so it looks like there are a lot of shields. Eh, he's not surrendering. Let me just give him a bit of time. Okay, so there are four shields right now. I'm gonna queue off these two shields. Okay, great. Okay, where did the other two shields go? Okay, so congrats. Now we are manipulating fate. Um, I have six minutes of whatever it is. So, six minutes of free time. So, I'm just going to leave the shoes alone. And watch out for snipers and cloakers. Ow. Okay, there's a cloaker somewhere. Yep, so this is fate manipulation. Um, I'm not sure if any of you will think that this is a very cheap tactic to use, but for one down I and in armor, I definitely have to use this. There we go, a security guard with no tasks. Okay, so if you're playing with more players, for example, three or four players, you can have one player, as I mentioned, um, to hang around and guard these guys in case uh, medics and tasers come and free them. That's what medics and tasers like to do, is kind of irritating. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to also show you what happens after the assault. Remember, after the assault, these guys will actually turn into retire. So, if it goes into the next assault wave, you have to repeat the steps again. So, now we are in fate. Um, after this, it will go into regroup. Well, that's why I like shields. They can't really do much. Uh, they are kind of irritating, but... Whoa! Ah... Damn it. Okay, so that up. Okay, so basically you saw how... Um, you see how the fate manipulation goes. What I'm going to show you is, uh, let me just terminate that. Okay, let me disable my last man cloaking mod to not get kicked. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you for the single player one is to show you Uh, where is that, that, that? Game settings, where's the AI? Okay. Okay, let us just enable AI. And... Okay, last thing I want to show you is that show, um, at the end of the assault wave... Uh, at the end of the assault wave, after the assault wave finishes, the... The hostages will turn into retire, so let me just show you that. Okay, so let's see if these guys have any tasks. 
Okay, so gangsters are typically re uh, recon as well. Um, a recon task, kind of interesting. Okay, this guy has no task. Okay, so what we are gonna do now is um, what we are doing now. Uh, to confirm that when assault ends, assault task becomes retired. So this is just the final part of the single player demonstration that I want to show you. Uh, let's hope that Winters doesn't turn up. I shouldn't have taken rats. Because Winters might turn up, especially on the first wave. Oh, wait. Winters doesn't show up on very hard. Does he? Or, or only overkill? Okay, I can't remember, but uh, let's hope Winters doesn't show up. Okay, so there you go. Assault task again. Okay, so how do you know which uh, enemies are assault? Uh, quite simple, they actually follow you, uh, follow you around. So like any guys that come inside here are assault. Okay, let's just get one hostage. Come on, shoot him in the leg. Okay, very good. So we have our, ho our hostage here. What we are going to do, I'm just going to hang around and let the wave end. Okay, so now we are in sustain. Come on. Yep, just kill them here. Don't run. Come on, Hoxton. Okay, very good. Oh no, why did you kill my hostage? Okay, I need a hostage. Okay, so my max limit is 5 hostages. Um, okay, I'm just gonna let the bots do whatever they do. Ah, alright. Glad that Winters... Ah, wait, my hostages are gone. Okay, anyway, I'm glad that Winters doesn't come here uh, on very hard. Otherwise, he's gonna waste my time on this. Okay, that is a hell lot of enemies. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to get uh, a hostage. Okay, once it's in fate, we're going to kill off everything that we can find. Okay, so now it is in fate. So right now you can see that... Oh, great. Okay, so now that um, they have switched 
Okay, they have switched to recon. I'm not sure what. Uh, because their composition, they are the HRT for. They are the HRT for this heist. But basically, what you need to know is that they will eventually retire as well. Yeah, the bots have been killing my, my hostages. Okay, but basically, uh, right here is that what you need to know is that for a new assault. Okay, this is a special case because we are playing on um, Overkill. I uh, know we are playing on Very Hard. On Very Hard, the um, cops can change their tasks. So that is not really a very good uh, example. Let me find something else. What would be good? Okay, let's do... Um, I guess Meltdown and without the AI. Okay, so without the AI, things will end. Uh, the assault should end faster. So let us do that. Okay, so our objective here is to confirm that when Assault Wave ends, the enemies go into retire. Okay, so this guy is a recon. I'm just gonna defend myself up here. Okay, so typically recon enemies will retire at uh, once the assault wave starts. Let us see if they do. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Okay, so now they are already at retire. The assault is as actually already started um, in the anticipation phase. Although in a regular unmodded game, you would not see the anticipation phase at all. Um, there will be no bar. Okay, I killed them. So, oh, crowbar, great. Nope, I don't want you guys. You guys have already retired. Uh, retired guys will usually run to disappear somewhere. They are going to despawn somewhere else. I'm not sure why they're coming towards me. Okay, so they are actually running away to despawn. Okay, I have no idea why they're coming towards me. Okay, great. Hey, where are all the assault guys? Okay. That was a flashy cue. Okay, an assault shoe. Okay, we are in our assault, uh, in our sustain phase right now. Ah, go away.
Whoops, blind. Blind. Okay, who rescued my hostage? What? Okay, got it. Okay, so for now, we are just trying to get the wave to end. Um, we're still in sustain. Okay, so one thing is that in Fate, right, um, as mentioned before, the reinforced enemies stop respawning as well. Uh, I could go out there and show you in a bit once I take care of these guys. Okay, great. So now we are in fate. Let us take a look. Okay, he's running away. Okay, so let us look at this. Okay, I can't look at the sniper's health. Um, let me just take care of the bulldozer. And let me just take care of everyone else. Uh... Okay, so the sniper has no task as well. Snipers are taskless units. Okay, these guys are taskless units as well. I have no idea why. Okay, so this is the assault. This is assault as well. Okay, so now let's go back to our hostages. Now he's an assault task. Oh, come on. Don't hide. You can't run. Okay, dead. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure why they switched to recon. Uh, this is really odd. Okay, but typically they would either switch to recon or they would switch to retired. Hmm. Okay, I can't un really answer or understand why they are not switching to retire. Uh, most likely is due to because they are the same as the recon force, the same as the HRT. Where else? Uh, let's see what happens to the second phase. The second assault. I don't think he will change to retire anymore. He should still be assault. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so he's still in assault. Um, that's done. Okay, so that didn't work out well. Okay, but in any case, in most cases, unless you are using my mod to tell which task the hostage is in, in most cases, they would actually retire. So, um, yep, so that is for the first part of my demonstration. I am going to switch to uh, multiplayer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into multiplayer. Let's see if we can find a heist to do my magic, to work my magic, to get 8 hostages. Uh, let's see which one works. Mike. 
Okay, and the other thing is that we need the the players to not have converts. So, hmm, yep, that is one other thing that we need to do. Hmm, let's see if we... I would like to do the Hoxton. Okay, let's see if the Hoxton breakout is in day 2. If it's in day 2, and I should be able to get uh, 8 hostages easily in day 2. Okay, they're still in day 1. So, I'm going to just uh, join them for a while. Um, since... It's actually in Infinite Assault at the moment. It's not gonna uh, really work well. Okay, let's hope that these guys have no converts. Okay, great. Looks like these guys have no uh, converts, so we should be quite safe for day two. Okay, this is great. We are going to end up in day 2 pretty soon. And looks like these four guys do not have converts. So, um, I'm I'm going to be able to get 8 hostages easily. And just to show you guys. Okay, I hope that when I do this, uh, they don't think that I'm, I'm hacking or something. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, that's great. Let's uh, get out of here. Okay, easy peasy. Let's go. Oh no, he's down. Okay, you do your door, I'll do mine. Okay, there you go. Uh, come on, hit me. Hit me. No? Okay, I'll hit you then. Okay, so now you see, now we are in the anticipation phase. Um, usually, if you're not the host, the hard mods won't work. So this is actually the anticipation phase where you don't see the assault banner. Uh, for a regular highs at 100% diff, it will be regular highs, 100% diff, build and sustain together will be 4 minutes and 3 seconds. Oh, he's down. Okay, let's go save him. Oh, Cloaker. Okay, let's go to day two as soon as possible so I can show you guys how it works. Desync? Nah, there's no desync. Um, earlier the... 
Whoop. Okay, this guy's. Okay, great. We are going into day two. I'm going to be able to show you the multiplayer. Okay, so it looks like the task spotting is only for hosts as well. Okay, let us rescue him uh, before he dies. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on. Stop being a hero. Okay, great. So on day two, I will be able to show you. Okay, great. This is day two. I will be able to show you a uh, multiplayer, uh, fate. What you call that? Fate manipulation right now. So, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna bring. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch it up for Isma and. A judge that is my favorite okay let me check for a quick one the long guy uh, let's see what is what is the time what is the build plus sustain for uh, Hoxton breakout Okay, so Hoxton breakout on day two, it is at 50% diff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, I'm going to get, get eight assault hostages for Faye. All right, so let's try that. Okay, um, we started at about 40 seconds, so let me see. Uh, okay, 40 seconds, we started at around 40 seconds, so build plus sustain equals 35 plus 156, that will be about 191 seconds plus 0, 0, 40, so that's 311. Fate is at 351. <laughs> oh well, he's um, second in for me. He looks pretty new. Okay, so right now I'm going to get... I'm going to get seven... I'm going to get eight... Eight assault hostages. Okay, so that's one. He's a bit bugged. Okay, so I have five hostages. Uh, need two more. Okay, I'm gonna stay here and guard. I need two more um, hostages. Oh, come on, where's my two more hostages? Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Um, fate should be in about a minute. Fate around 350. Yep, two more hostages. Come on, where am I going to find two more hostages? Oh, 
Oh, I need my hostages, please. Okay, great, great. Oh, don't kill my hostages. Okay, looks like my hostages are being rescued. Oh, he converted them. Damn it. No, no, no. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna try to... Okay, I'm killing his convert. Okay, so I killed his convert. Um... Okay, I'm having problems trying to get... Uh, seven converts. Hopefully, this is. Okay, damn it, I only have five. I need two more hostages. Uh, oh no, I need two more hostages. Okay, don't die, don't die, come on. Okay, so I think I have uh, six hostages already. One, two, three, four, five, and six right there. Okay, key card, let us get up there and um, get one more. Oh no. Why is my hostages disappearing? Okay, not really, so. Um, that is five, six. Oh, come on, I need a key cut. Okay, yes, great. Okay, great. This is going to be my... Okay, so fate should last till um, 9.50. So we're going to have 4 minutes. We're going to have 4 minutes of... Uh, assault. Uh, we're going to have 4 minutes of... About 4 minutes of no respawn. Um... I bet if they knew I was doing all this, they might, they might think I'm hacking, so uh, let's hope not. Let's hope they don't think I'm hacking. Okay, so great news. We have seven assault alive. Fate till 9.50. Okay, looks like, um... No! Okay, so he killed my hostages. Um, the fate... Fate is gonna end pretty soon because he killed them. So, congrats. Uh, I was going to give him, like... Two more minutes of... Two more minutes of, uh, no response. But he's trying to end the, the wave, so... Yep. Yep, look at what he did. I extended the fate for... I could have extended it until... You can see right up there. Now it's at 740. I could have extended it until 950. But he had to throw... He had to go and throw a grenade to... Um, well, to destroy the assault. So now I have to get all eight again. That's not really a problem. I hope he doesn't kill my hostages okay so i'm going to get seven hostages again 
Let's go for seven hostages. I hope he doesn't kill them. Otherwise, he's going to be real irritating. Eh, your grenade does shit to a bulldozer. Okay, so we started at 8.45. Um, <laughs> oh well. Okay, so... Um, let me see. Fate, fate, fate. All okay, I'm trying to find the div value for... For um, Hawks Breakout. Okay, so we start at 845. The full. This should be the full assault wave for 4 minutes and 3 seconds, so 1248. So Fate should be at 1248. Okay, so Fate should be at 1248. Let me try to get. Uh, get seven seven hostages. I can only get seven because he has one convert right there. So if you're gonna do this trick, do not get any converts. Oh, great. Oh, he's killing them. No, 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 don't kill them. Don't kill them. Bloody sentry guns. Oh, hello, everybody. Yes. Oh yes, this is great. Everybody's a hostage. the captain damn it okay so winters has ruined my plan i have like six hostages now and he's destroying my plan of um fate oh well let's just kill them all Okay, so uh, tell you what, guys, I'm going to host one. Really, Asian players bring sentry gun. I'm Asian. I don't bring sentry guns. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to host one game after this, and I'm going to tell them not. To, um, I'm gonna tell them not to convert. I'm gonna tell them not to what you call it. Not uh, no converting and no killing of my hostages. Wow, that was easy. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, do we have enough time for another fate? Hmm. Okay, I don't know if we have time for another fit, but I am going to host um 
Panic Room on Mayhem next and uh, no converts. Okay, so let us finish this as um Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm just going to leave. Okay, I'm going to leave. I am going to be doing my own game um with players. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to host and I'm going to tell them no converts. So let's do panic room. This is a pretty classic one, a pretty simple one. Well, what are you doing at 10.42? Well, streaming is like TV, so... Well, I guess you're watching TV, right? Okay, so, uh, no converts, please. And don't kill my hostages. Oh, Senpai uh, Killer Fire, you want to join my game? You want, you could. Uh, you, we can try out doing this fate manipulation together. Okay, waiting for at least one more. Alright man, no problem. Uh, we're just gonna do a very easy... Very easy one um, with the fate, so yep. Okay, great. We have um, we have three now, so no converts, please. And don't kill my hostages. Uh, doing something special. Okay, so um, I hope that these guys won't um, they won't do convert and whatnot. Uh, we should be good with this. Should be easy enough. I hope they don't think I'm hacking as well. But since I'm the host, they can't do shit about it. So that's great. That's nice. You're chilling. Well, I'm chilling too. Not on my bed. But uh, I guess that's fine. Kill my hostages.
Well, grinder works for anything death wish and below, so. Okay, so right now I'm host, so I should have. Uh, I should be able to see the face and I should be able to see the assault. the task of the, the cops. Okay, let's do this. Ah, I'm getting shot. Oh, we have a maniac. Okay, there he is. Easy peasy. Okay, so these guys can do whatever they want. Um, that's fine. Okay, so now you can see this guy is uh, retired. He is most likely gonna move out of the map and despawn. Okay, I just killed one guy. Um, okay, so uh, fate is at uh, six oh six. Okay, so um, fate starts at 6.06, so it's not too much of a problem. I just need more. Okay, so he has one convert, that's fine. I'm going to need a couple more. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, no. Okay, I'm going to try to get... Okay, so now I'm going to try to get my um, hostages. We have five. Okay, I'm not sure if this guy... Okay, this FBI guy is taskless, so I'm not going to take him. Oh no, I killed my guy again. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna kill that medic first. He's um, irritating. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna shoot him in the leg. Okay, I'm in a bit of a mess right now, but I have one, two, three, four, five. Um, I have five assault guys right here. Is that five? And I have one guy here. Okay, so assault one, um, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so where is number seven? Okay, great. So this is assault. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, where is... Oh no. Why is that guy on? Okay, this guy doesn't work. Uh, this guy won't work as well. I need. I need assaults only. Okay, so that's a problem. I can't get. Okay, I don't know if the FBI heavy SWAT works. Okay, so these guys are still in recon. Um, okay, they are now back to assault. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get seven again. Since now they are back to assault and they are not in retire. So that's great. I'm going to try to get. Yep, I like to research. Okay, so, so far I've only seen one here. Um, two, three, four, four guys. Okay, this guy is an assault. Great. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh no, I killed him. Okay, this guy doesn't work. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need two more. Oh damn, I'm not gonna fight two more at this rate, they are all up there. 
Oh, great, great, great. Very good. Oh, great. This is number seven. Oh, wait. Is he number seven? Where? Uh, hmm. Okay, it looks like someone got rescued. Okay, so I'm just going to protect these seven guys. I'm going to protect these seven guys and... Oh no, joystick left, why? Okay, we should go into sustain soon. Ah, I mean, we should go into fate soon, I guess. Okay, so assault, assault, assault. We have seven, that's good. Okay, we are still in sus uh, sustain. When are we going into fate? All right, let me go up and help them. They seem to be having a little bit of trouble. Okay, so now we are in fate. Uh, enemies stop responding. Awning until about 19 minutes. You can set the brown ones brown cops you can kill those I'll got the hostages Okay, he's going to kill me. Okay, so he's not going to surrender for a while. I'll try not to kill him. Okay, he's not going to surrender for a good while. 
So I'm gonna have to kill off these guys. Oh no, did I kill off? Oh no, I killed off the assault guy. Okay, I'll leave the taser alive then. Or maybe I, if I can find another shield. Okay, I'm gonna leave the dozer alive. That would be, um... I'm just gonna leave that dozer alive. Okay, so the dozer is not gonna die anytime, I'm just gonna leave him alone. the dozer oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh, no. oh well Okay, how many medics are there to... Okay, so it looks like, uh, well, because I killed one guy accidentally, uh, the assault ended earlier. Okay, let me just finish this heist. Okay, so this one is a bit of a mess. Um, it was kind of a mess. I didn't manage to do it properly.
Okay, I'm surprised they didn't free the hostages. That is kind of odd. Wow, I still got the highest body count, but... Okay. Okay, so is there a better way for me to show this? Uh... Okay, so thanks. Thanks for helping out, guys. Okay, so so basically that is uh, my test for the multiplayer one. Um, it didn't go as well because as you saw earlier, I accidentally killed... Yeah, I accidentally killed one of uh, the guys right at the end. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys actually understood what I'm trying to tell you. Um, so let us go back to... Let us go back to the slide. And we'll take a quick look again. Oh, where am I? Okay, let's take a look at the slide again and let's see. Where are we? Okay, so basically I screwed up a bit there, but... Okay, let us just uh, go through the summary again. You should know all this. Um, okay, basically, you, you guys should already know why I do fade manipulation. It allows me to have 6 minutes uh, without the assault wave respawning. So, how do we do it? Let me just go right to the summary. Okay, so at any time, dominate as close to 7 assault enemies and defend yourself. Earlier in um, what you call it? Earlier in panic room in the multiplayer one, the one which you last saw, you see that in panic room, they the for mayhem. The gensec ones are the assault, while the overkill ten cops, the brown cops, they are actually taskless. They are constantly spawned in the heist, uh, and those are not part of the assault. So in fate. What you have to do is you have to keep those seven enemies alive and then you will have six minutes of fate and optional which is to leave one player to guard the hostages which i was the guard and uh, i kind of screwed up there i left let one guy escape and when the assault ends typically you need to kill off the hostages and repeat um for example what happened just now in panic room those hostages could be used again because uh, they are the same setup as the recon so they their task gets changed to recon and then it gets changed back to assault uh, typically this doesn't happen in the past because you have the hostage rescue team where those fbi guys come in to rescue the hostage so th typically those are the recon but since now that overkill has changed it it is kind of hard to tell which is assault and which is recon so the safest way to do it as again is to dominate those assault seven assault enemies seven or eight and um and when fate ends when the whole assault ends you just kill off the hostages and repeat right so that's all i have for you um thank you guys again for watching uh got a bit messy there in the multiplayer Yep. Okay, so thank you guys. Uh, I'm gonna stop my stream right here. Um, I hope you guys learn how to do this. Uh, it's kind of um, some of you may think it's a well, it's a cheap trick to do, but 
for me, I have to use it in a one down because I'm playing in armor and with no DLC. So I don't have fancy crossbows and I don't have fancy grenade launchers. So, uh, try it out. Um, if you need, I will put a link to this PowerPoint in my YouTube video when it's ready. And I'll see you guys in the next stream or in the next video. This is Unknown Knight here. Signing out.